Here's a little Yamaha trivia for folks. I'm surprised about how many people don't know this, but I've had some friends that were into motorcycles for years and didn't realize this. But you're looking at here, this happens to be a, a new gas cap for the YL1. This is the Yamaha Motors logo we're all probably quite familiar with. That logo represents three crossed tuning forks. Because Yamaha, Yamaha Corporation's original business was musical instruments, which most of you probably know. They still make them to this very day. Very big in the musical instrument business, in fact. One of the largest in the world, I believe. I had one friend who's been into motorcycles for years who said he really never paid much attention to it, thought it was a snowflake, believe it or not. Now, Yamaha Motors, the folks that make upward motors, motorcycles, watercraft, etc., is technically a separate company from Yamaha Company. Yamaha Company, based in Japan, split off Yamaha Motors, the sport craft, power craft uh, part of their industry, in 1955. And though today it's technically a separate company, that is Yamaha Motors, Yamaha Company, the original Yamaha, is still the largest shareholder and still controls essentially the company. That's probably why they're still using their original logo. Anyway, thought I'd just share that little trivia with you on their logo. Let's get back to the uh, balance of this video. Hello folks and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about a situation I ran into with the fork seals for the little Yamaha YL1. These are the original seals I pulled out of the forks uh, some time ago. I had a hard time getting these out as you can see. They're one of the most difficult sets of seals I've ever encountered in terms of forks. And obviously they're damaged and they're um, they're pretty dry. You can see the vinyl there the split. I think that was probably deteriorating before I removed them. So I had to pry them out. You can see they have a metal band around the edge, the circumference, which is not unusual in older seals. And these parts are no longer available from Yamaha. And I couldn't find them anywhere else. Couldn't find them on eBay. I've had a search set up on eBay for months and even in the Far East, and quite often you can find parts in the Far East, haven't been able to find these parts. And even if I was now to find them, it would probably be very expensive just because of their rarity. So I have a dilemma on my hands. What am I going to do about these seals? So I did some measuring, and the approximate dimensions I came up with was 39 uh, millimeters in diameter, the ID or inside diameter is approximately 27 millimeter. I'll come back to the, that in a minute. And then the height or the thickness right here, <clears throat> I came up with approximately 10.4. And that was achieved basically by taking the seals, using my caliper set to millimeters. I did various measurements around the edges and came up with approximately 10.3. And you can see there and... That's about 10.5. This seal's in a little bit better shape than the other one. It's not quite as distorted. 10.38. So depending on where you measure them, 10.35. I came up with an average of about 10.4. Then I thought, well, I want to verify the inside uh, diameter. The outside, I think I can get a pretty good read on because the this one in particular, the outside wasn't too distorted, but the inside was going to be a problem, you can see, because it's all tore up. So what I did is I had purchased some time ago uh, NOS, new old stock fork tube. That's what these are. This is. came from uh, Thailand. This is a brand new fork tube that was never used. And I'll go into reasons why I went this route in another video. I'm not going to talk about that today, but... In order to determine the, the inside diameter of the seal, I just simply measured this tube. You can see here, I came up with about 
long story short, about 27 millimeter. So I went around multiple times the, the, the NOS tube to measure the inside, what would be essentially the inside diameter of the seal. Then I went looking for replacement seals. And I couldn't find anything with a metal band, which didn't particularly concern me. What I did find, though, is this seal. Uh, I found, they're all over out there. You can find them on eBay. You can find them from part suppliers. Uh, this seal is uh, used on many different smaller Japanese motorcycles, small Hondas, Kawasaki's, Suzuki's, and Yamaha's. So it's a very, very common seal. This seal measures uh, 39 millimeters outside, 27 millimeter inside, and approximately 10.5 millimeter in, in thickness this, in this dimension. And I think it will work. In fact, I'm very sure it will work. The fact that this seal doesn't have the metal band around it doesn't concern me particularly. They got away from the style seal later on anyway. And I did some quick measurements and here I'll show you. Got my caliper zeroed out. And this measures, you can see there 10.59, inconsistency in manufacturing of course. This is a, is a rubber type product, 10.5, 10 10.6, 10 10.5, 10 6 versus 10.4 that I measured these seals at. And the inside diameter is comparably the same also in terms of size. Let's see if I can get this. 25, about 26. You have to be careful when you measure these vinyl parts that you don't put too much pressure on the thumb wheel because then you'll distort your, your readings. Nonetheless, I think these seals, which are anomaly the same size as the old seals, will work fine. If anything, this seal might be a little bit deeper this way. but it's not much. In fact, when I use my fingers, they feel like virtually identical. So I think I can make these seals work. My point in this video was to share with you that often on these older bikes, and the older they are, the more likely this is to occur. One has to use a little creativity in uh, finding the parts that will work. So. Pretty confident this seal will work with this fork tube and will uh, allow me to move on with this part of the project. I'll get into the fork tube uh, or the fork reassembly at a much later date. Uh, some of the parts are out for chrome right now, so it'll be a little while before I get, get to those, but you'll see me attempting to install this, these seals in a future video. That's it for today's uh, conversation. I trust it was useful for you. If you have any questions, drop me a note. Otherwise, thanks for watching.